Hello everybody, we're back here in Timish wetland. It's a great day, although it's pretty windy, but anyway, I like it. And today I want to talk about three ways that I can rack focus with my GH5. Quick, simple ways to pull focus like a professional. So let's start. Tip number one. We gotta find two objects or three in the case that we use GH5. I'm a huge Panasonic fanboy. I said it. I am. In order to get that dramatic cinematic focus pull, first we have to find the objects or the locations where that focus transition is the most dramatic. And for that we have to find an object that's very close to our lens and another one as far as possible. So now we're here in the countryside and we're gonna go and do just that. Find our perfect shot, our perfect location to practice our focus pull. So what I'm looking for right now is a spot where I have a few trees where, um, sorry about that, we're on a bumpy road. So what I'm looking right now for is a place where I have a few trees, not very compact. So this would be an ideal location. We have this uh, small bush here with very colorful fruits. And then we have this tree right behind it, probably like 20 meters away or like 50 feet away. We have the distance contrast and we have the color contrast because we have this, uh, we have these uh, small little red fruits. And then we have the, um, the golden foliage at the base of the tree and we have the blue sky above. So I'm gonna set up my stuff here and I'm gonna do the first focus pulling for today using the GH5 built-in focus transition feature. So I set up my GH5 as close as possible to this first bush and those little red fruits, they're gonna be my first focus point and I'm gonna transition from those to the big tree behind them. Now we're gonna talk about the focus transition method number one, which is using the focus transition feature that is built in right into GH5's menu. It's pretty easy to use once we know exactly what we wanna do. In an ideal case scenario, we wanna use a zoom lens or a prime lens that has a little bit of focal length. Right now I'm using the 25 mm kit lens for GH5. I think it's a great lens, although it is a kit lens and it's a very fast lens. It's, one point, it's f1.7. So that's a great thing because we want to compress that background as much as possible. We want to push as much blur as we can in that background. Having a prime lens with a very low f-stop, that's a great thing to accomplish that. So I have GH5 on a tripod, f1.7, 25mm lens, and let's see how we're going to do it. So here we are inside my studio to get the recording of my GH5 screen because outside it was way too bright. So first we have to select the video mode on GH5. Then once inside the menu, we're gonna scroll to video mode sub menu. And then on page two, we have focus transition, push the button, get inside the sub menu. And we have the first option is focus pull setting. So once in there, we select that one and we have three positions that we can choose to focus transition between. Position number one, and now we choose our first focus point. Using our focus ring, we just focus on those little red fruits. And once we do that and acquire the pinpoint sharp focus on those red fruits, we just press the set button at the bottom of the display screen. It's the right lower corner. And we select the first focus transition point. Then we move to point number two, position number two, as we see on the screen. Select that one, we repeat the process. Click set and now we selected position number two and if we want we can do position number three using the little joystick we move to position number three select that one repeat the process although in this case it may not be perfectly visible again press set and we have selected three positions to focus transition between and then once we did that we exit the menu and now we have three more options that allows us to further customize our focus transition, first is focus transition speed. We have super high, high, medium, low, and super low. We can scroll to those positions. Usually I like, and I found out that it works better if I leave it on high. So I select high. Then we have the focus transition recording. That means we can select 
a position or a focus point that we want our focus transition to start from by default. Usually I leave this off and then we have focus transition weight. From here we can set up a period of time as a delay before our focus transition starts to give us enough time to prepare our setup. In my case, I always leave this off. So once we made our selections, we move at the beginning of the sub menu where we have start, press the start button and we have our scene with the three positions at the bottom. And if we're using the joystick or the big button on the back of GH5, or if we use the touch screen, it doesn't really matter. We can just switch between positions and let the system do the rest. If we select position one, for example, the focus will move from position one to position two. If we select position two, it's gonna be vice versa and so forth. We press record and we can play with this all day long, switching between different positions. And once we're satisfied, we just stop the recording and voila, we got our footage containing our focus transition using this feature built in GH5. And for method number two, same principles apply, but for the sake of variation, I'm gonna find another spot, again, where I can find an object or a subject very close to my lens and one that is farther away as possible. And I know a couple of places, just a few hundreds of yards away, that are perfect for that. I don't have my ND filters with me, and therefore my shutter speed is to the roof. So this is gonna look a little bit like saving Private Ryan, but I apologize beforehand. So here we are, we have to find a place. We're gonna have the sun behind us, and this tree right here, I think it's the perfect spot for just demonstrating how I use my GH5 method number two to rack focus like a pro. I don't like to consider myself a pro, although I do make a living generating content and hopefully in no time I'm gonna be a very successful YouTuber. So this method involves setting up my camera on a tripod, although we can do it handheld too. And basically involves just to use that little joystick just to move that focus box to the points that we want to transition between. In my case, I set up my GH5 to be on continuous autofocus and I realized that the best way to get a very dramatic focus transition effect using this method to use the smallest focus box possible and just to move it in straight lines. Either we move it sideways or we move it up and down. We don't want to just go around the screen all over the place. In that scenario, the camera, the autofocus system of the camera will make that transition very, very smooth. So right now I'm on AFS, AFF mode from my focus button right here. You see this is manual, this is autofocus continuous and this is AFF. We're gonna get into a later episode about what these settings actually mean, but I like this one, the first one. And then just using this joystick, I don't know if you can see the little box, but just using the joystick across the screen, I can select different focus points and the camera's autofocus mechanism just do the rest. Sometimes it just doesn't grasp it, but if you do it uh, back and forth a few times, it will work wonders. So you see, I keep moving it back and forth between my focus transition points, between this branch right here and the trees behind it. And after a while, the transition just works so smooth. So this was method number two. And since it's getting pretty windy, there's no point in me trying to get further down the road. So we're gonna use this location and my truck, my trusted Ford Ranger, for demonstrating method number three of pulling focus, which basically means just using the focus ring on my lens and relying on that focus picking feature of GH5. The good thing about it is that in GH5's menu, you can change the color of that uh, focus picking little marching ends. And that's very important because sometimes, for example, I see many cameras, they have it um, set it on red, but a lot of times if you shoot sunrises or sunsets, uh, that red color interferes with whatever you have in your scene and you don't see clearly if you're really on focus on whatever you want to film or you're just way off. So that fact that we can change the color on the GH5's uh, focus picking feature, that's, that's a great thing. So right now I'm outside a lot of coloring, it's uh, like reddish and brownish, but if I set it on blue, I can see clearly what exactly I'm focusing at. So I love that feature. And I think just a few cameras have that one. 
uh, if I sound like a Panasonic fanboy, maybe I am. I don't uh, rely on a particular brand, but since I started doing this filming thing and vlogging, a GH5 obviously became the first choice and my little G9 that I use it as a backup camera. So using that focus picking feature set on blue, I'm gonna use my truck and move the focus point manually just by turning the focus ring on my lens between my truck and the street line along the river. So there we have them, three surefire foolproof methods of pulling focus like a pro with GH5. And now I'm gonna go record me some pretty nice B-roll footage.